Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on Ravenport. We are going to carry straight on from where we left off in the last episode. So let's get to it. I'll stop you, because I don't want you for a second. The sheep, they're fine for water. This pen is fine for water. It's only that pen there that could do with a little bit of water. They don't actually need that much, but they could do with a bit. We've got 2,000 litres here, so we'll just run that forward and we'll start pouring that in. That's going to keep them going for the next four or five days. It's not quite enough to keep them going continuously until uh, we're ready to start selling our next lot of horses, but it's not far off. Actually, I don't want to leave that one there because that's our route through. It's the only route through that we've got at the moment, so we'll back you back over here to the other water trough. You're not in the way of anything over there, are you? Put you back. Keep going. Keep going. And we'll park you right there. Okay. Next up, back to the house. We fast forward through the night, and we're going to lose a little bit of money. We know that. That's fine. We don't care. Um, go to there. 13... 14 hours sleep. I want this long. I want as long as possible to sort of go for each each night that we go through. Okay, so there we got our loan interest and vehicle leasing right through to the morning until half past nine. So you can sleep in until nearly 10 a.m. each day. It's gone cloudy again. I wish it wouldn't do that. I really, I really do wish it wouldn't do that. Right, wheat and barley, grass. They're all fine. Obviously, the horses are absolutely perfect. We we got no issues with those down there. Uh, if we have a look at the sheep, we've got uh, 7,500 litres on whatever it is that they're working on at the moment. Eggs over here, 2,500, 5,009, 1,004, and 6,004. Don't know which ones are going to be... We, we, we can do a drive-by to find out which ones are full. The only problem is... we do Well, actually, pork grain elevator, we do have five grand on there. And then wool, we've got two grand. So they are actually all right for prices. I'm, I'm going to stop the time ticking by too fast. And we'll go over to here. So wool right here, I've got... I would say that two of those are full. So we've got two full pallets, and then we've got two part pallets. So we're going to take you. And the first thing that we are going to do with you is we've got autoloader select pallets. I'm going to go back and I'm going to get the wool first. That's going to go on the front of the truck. And then once I've gotten that, we'll then come along and we'll get some egg pallets and we'll load all of those up. And then we're going to take things off and we're going to sell them. So I'll bring you along over here. And I want to... Hang on, what do I press to start it loading? I can't remember it now. Uh, work mode... U. I don't remember it being U. I thought it was like Z or something. Work mode on. Right, work mode is on. We got three full pallets. Nice. Frithgar likes. And Well actually I'll leave the I'll leave the work mode on. I'll just I'll just leave it on and then we'll go and do a drive by against the um the chickens down there as well. We've got these three pallets of wool which we'll unload at the spinnery that'll be the first thing and then we'll take any pallets of eggs that we've got and we'll take those to the port whatever it is they're five grand per thousand liters which is pretty good going i don't think we can complain about that so we've got two pallets from that one we've got i'm hoping most of the rest of the other mod of the pallets from this one i want to get rid of them all there's that that's most of them gone now yeah it's the ones without labels and i think it's only the one pallet that we had anyway so there's those. There's six full pallets now. And that one at the back is apparently not. Oh, yes, he is. He is full. That one at the back was full. We got one more over here. One more on our drive-by. So why have we got one pallet there? Oh, that's the other one. That's that's the, the different mod. And then I've only got one pallet here. There's two other pallets, and they're both... Uh, full. So what we're going to do next is we're going to stop this one so we can go work mode off like that and then we will unload using just 
normal unload like that so it goes straight onto the pa onto the trailer like that and then I'll put the straps down. I'm not going to reload it going anywhere because it'll mess up with the empty pallets. It doesn't like it. So we can close that one. So first up, we want to go to the spinnery and we'll sell those pallets there. We're getting 2,000 per 1,000 litres. Now remember, we've got... 10,000 litre pallets that we've got right here. So we're going to get a reasonable amount of money for for our um, for our wool. We've just got to make sure that it goes in the right place. So before we go actually into this bit, we need to take those straps off. Now some of these they work okay, some of them they do not work. Okay, that one's selling right there. The front ones aren't selling. But if I do that, yes, it does still block, it, the, the lorry still blocks it. So there's another 41,000, so we've got those now have been sold. We've got that hitched on, I can put the straps back on like that. And the wool, we got two grand, so now we want to go to the port grain elevator. Where is the port grain elevator? That one is, that's the one up there. So that's our next stop, is the port grain elevator. Ooh. Can go out the back here. Is this somewhere that I've not been before? Well, I don't think I have. Can we go with a great big lorry? Is our great big lorry going to fit out along this tiny track? It might. I don't think it would be really suitable taking it up the hill, but it might fit down through here and then in through the back of suburbia in the village. You know, I'm thinking this may be considered a little bit of a small road for taking this truck along. Truck what you call them in the states isn't it it's a truck not a lorry but we can bring out around here i like that we've got the dirt on the other side which sort of shows where people have come in and have been swinging their load out round so i can go on up there or down no i'm going to go on this way i think this way it seems like this would be the better way let's get on the right side of the road here if we're going if we're going to do this we may as well try and do it properly i don't think this would be something that you would want to do normally not coming out along here. We would have turned around at the spinnery, I'd have thought. But, I mean, maybe you would. Maybe you would. Maybe this is something that would happen. And then we come out round there. So now we're on to the main track, onto the main road. And we've got... Well, we no, we don't want to go across the crossing here. We want to stay along this road here. We want to go right through town. 25. See, this is really unusual to me. I've seen 25 limits before. In the UK, there is nowhere that's got a 20... Well, occasionally outside of a school, you'll have a 20 mile an hour speed limit. Um, but it's only literally just outside of a school. Whereas the majority of the UK, any built up area, standard is... Wait, why has that got like a stop... You know the white line that was painted on the road? That's for us in the UK, that's a stop sign. That's, that's the stop sign that's painted on the road. Um, but that stop sign seemed to be on the wrong side. I'm not sure. Things confuse me. Um, oh, I think that's a wood cell point there, isn't it? So we want to bring this one in round here. And this is where we want to do our selling in here. Um, yeah, it's 30 miles an hour. Anywhere in the UK, the built-up area, it's 30 miles an hour. Let's bring our eggs in, and we'll take these... Okay. Now we could be in... This is this is why you don't do it while you're moving along. All right? Never do this while you're moving along. If I bring it around that way, you can actually see the numbers. There we go. Look at that. 244,000 from eggs. You see that? And all of that lot there is another $100,000. We've got half a million dollars here just from eggs. From eggs on their own. That is just phenomenal. The only issue we've got is that we need to... I'm going to have to use the load function and get that pallet on, which is going to cause... Um, it's going to make everything pop. It is it's definitely going to make everything pop. Right. Um, what's going to what's gonna pop is when I... Um, right, I turn the work mode off. It's going to pop when I move that pallet. Right, if I bring that back to there, look. And then... Stop there a minute. Uh, and I unload it. 
that's going to make them explode. See? Right. Bring you out. Huh. Right, well, that's a problem because now it's on its side and I can't do anything with that. I can't move it. I can't physically do it myself. But it doesn't like it being on its side. And unfortunately, with this one, I can't... Um, yeah, th these these pallets, they've got, they've got to be right side... Oh, hang on. What's it doing there? It's sort of doing something. Now what's it doing? Let me try dragging it forward a bit. I'll pull it forward so that it sells. I've still got eggs up there. Right, this, this was not supposed to happen. <laughs> this was definitely not supposed to happen. There, I've got some more that have been sold. With that pallet up there, that's, that's not supposed to be doing that. So how can I make this work? Uh, thinking if I can push the pallet back a bit, maybe. I might be able to do this. And then do that. I'll have to put the strap onto it like that. Now, the big issue that we've got is that we've got empty pallets lying around down here and I can't do anything with them. So I've got to be able I've got to be able to load those pallets back on. Okay, so that was obviously that that went horribly wrong. Main reason because I undid the straps before I stopped moving. That was the big mistake that I made right there was I undid those straps before I stopped moving and we all know that the game doesn't like you doing that. So that caused them all to slide and shift and that caused problems. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need you know I think it's too far to take that one. If we just go and what's your, your 15 miles an hour? I think we'd get there faster with the tractor, to be honest. Uh, no, I can't. I was just thinking maybe I could do it with the Mahindra, but I can't do it with the Mahindra either. So we're going to have to take this tractor, and we're going to have to go racing all the way over to the cell points and get that loaded up. And then we can load those pallets back on. This was not part of the master plan. This absolutely was not part of the master plan. You know what? Master plan... We would be able to have a bit more of the master plan. Uh, we want to lift you up. Lift you up like that. And we'll put you out like that. And then if I switch to you, we'll unfold the combine. I will bring this combine back over. I'm not going to bother going around the edge of it at all. I'm simply going to put it going like this. I've got a half a million dollars now, which I will be able to use to go and buy some land. We'll do that in a minute. We're not going to do it yet. What I am going to do is I'm going to start that one going like that. And yeah, I'm, I'm just going to leave it like that. Why aren't you picking up? Oh, it's because I got the wrong one selected. There, I wanted to pick it up, but I don't need to now because I'm going on to the next bit. Right, I'll bring you into there like that. And I will press H. Right, so we've got our harvest is now underway. So that can go. You can start driving towards the, uh, what do you call, the, the pallets. And we can go and rescue those. And then the case tractor right there, that's the one that we'll use for doing the... Um, the grain carting when we need to. We've got to bring a load of pallets back here soon, and we may load up some more. Well, just no. We we won't bother loading up. We won't bother buying any more pallets from the dealership just yet. We'll do that in a little while. It's probably not a bad thing bringing this one in to town and coming on through to getting these wool pallets because I can also at the same time just pause at the fuel station here and we can get ourselves a little bit of go-go juice because we just about run out so if we can have a little bit of that there we go you come on in here I better turn the engine off
They do frown upon you leaving the engine running while you're filling up. Right. We'll fill that one up. Let's go and check on our other vehicle a minute. Uh, you are... Well, currently you're hanging your head in shame for throwing everything on the floor. Let's go and get you. We will just move this seed drill here. We will... Where are we going to put the seed drill? I think we'll put that in next to the baler in there. So if I drop the seed drill into there, then I can go and get that trailer on. And that will then be ready for unloading the combine as and when he needs to be unloaded. So I'll drop you back into there. Ever so quickly. Like that. And then I can go and get that trailer on over there. So once you get started, once you get going with the wool, the eggs in particular, the eggs on easy mode. Um, I know that we've got it on easy mode and we've got the easy economy settings. Um, using these pallets where you can gather 10,000 litres of eggs all at once, it's not generating more eggs or anything, it's just eliminating the handball work that, because let's be honest, if you were moving that lot all by hand, it's something that you'd be much less inclined to do because of the sheer quantity of work that's involved with moving that many eggs. However, doing it with the mod when you've got the pallet there that's gathering up all those eggs for you is so so much better definitely definitely better so i'm i'm quite happy to carry on doing that the amount of money that we're getting from it as well is just phenomenal so it's going to take us towards our target of being able to go and buy those great big fields up at the top a lot faster and we said that we would leave cattle off of this map and we'll just go for sheep and chickens on this one uh, as well as buying up those fields until we've got the big fields and that's our target on this map once we've got those big fields once those are ours and we've got that in the bag then we will be moving on to another map so we've got to decide what map we're going to want to go to because I mean if we get half a million dollars worth of eggs in that short space of time let's speaking of half a million dollars let's let's just go up here and have a look a minute so we've got growth on there that's just cultivated and then we've got growth there that's that's the beans that's growing up there uh so we've got some soybeans coming along so we, we're gonna need to put a bit of lime onto that one field there but that's okay we, we can live with that let's go to land right there field 14 we want to buy it's a hundred thousand for that one so we press space and yes i want to buy that one and then Field 15 up here is 126,000 by, yes. Field 16 is 137. Yes, I want to buy that one. And then what have we got left? Actually, what have we got left? Uh, we've got 176, value 213. So we don't quite have enough to buy the final field in the list, unfortunately. We're a little bit shy on that. Although, we've still got that one pallet to sell. And given how much we, how much money we got from everything else, there may be just enough to go and buy that one big field. I don't know if there will be or not. Actually, it's going to be quite cool. If there, is, if there is enough to go and buy that one last big field, the bigger one, the 217,000, I mean, we could always take out a bit of a loan. We, we've got enough now. We could take out a loan. We could buy that, which means that we can then convert that into one big field. That's the idea, is we want to turn that into one big field. So we, we can then, we can just work on ploughing the whole field in together. We don't have to wait and, um, yeah, look, see, here in the UK, that's a stop sign. See that, that big white solid line? That is a stop symbol here in the UK, right? You would find that on this side of the road, beyond, it's on the correct side of the road for it because we drive on the left. Um, that's a stop symbol right there. It's not a give way sign, that's a stop symbol. So you come up to there, and then you give way, you look you look both ways, and, and, and then you can carry on. If it's a stop sign, there would also be an octagon stop sign there as well. It would be red octagon, and then you carry on up this side of the road. And But it's not. It, it, it's not there. And that's the bit that I don't understand, is why is that on there, on the wrong side of the road? It doesn't make any sense. Is, is there a particular thing that I'm overlooking here is that like a, a strange road rule for the US that I really do not understand I'm, I'm sure there is like some kind of logical reasonable perfect acceptable explanation for it all it's just I've got no clue what it might be 
Uh, okay, I've got that one pallet back there. Looks like a wool one, actually. I think it is. I think that's the wool one that we kind of teleported out. So we'll go in like this. I'll zoom in a little bit like that, and I've only got to get, I've only got to get the pallets onto the trailer. It doesn't matter how they go onto the trailer, just as so long as they're on the trailer. Right, it's on the trailer. It's all that matters. Okay, then we can bring you round. And now we've got to get this pallet of eggs moved and sold. This is going to be a little bit more tricky because it's a slight... Actually, it won't be too bad. I was thinking it might be difficult because of the angle that it's at, but I think... Nope, we're going to be all right. There. Bring you over like that. Straight back over. And you're done. Another 32,000. What did we need? We're, we're on 200 and... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What are you... What, what, uh, lands? There. 213. We're, we're shy by fourth. You know what? We're going to do it. We're, we're just going to borrow some more. We're on 920,000. Let's, let's take this up. We'll take this up. We're going to go for a straight $1 million loan. There. $1 million loan. Now, whether or not we actually repay our loan in this series or we choose to repay our loan in the next series... I'm not too sure at the moment. I'm thinking that we will probably aim at, to repay the loan in our next series rather than this one. Uh, I just think it will work out better. I think it will give us something to do in our next series. Right, so those there are rather expensive, but we know that they've got a lot of trees in them. Now, this was the target up here. So there's half a million there, uh, 400, just over 400 there, uh, 680 there, and 1.2 million there. So those two there, there's eight, there's 900,000 for those, 2.1 million, uh, 2.1, 2. 2. 7, 2.8 million. We're going to need 2.8 million to be able to buy that slice up there. 2.8 million altogether. The biogas plant in there is going to cost us 770,000. Although the biogas plant might be something that would be worth investing in because of the amount of money that we can get for silage at the biogas plant. You get more money for silage at the biogas than you do anywhere else. And it looks like, from what I've seen so far, it's a set rate from the biogas plant. You get a set rate. I think it is set at 500 per thousand liters. You get $500 per thousand liters, regardless of what happens, regardless of how much you sell. Whereas if you're selling it in the barn, you get less, right? You, you get it depending on how much you sell and whatever the price is at the time. Um, I mean, for us right now, silage at the barn is... Let's have a look in the right place. Uh, silage is 455. That's not too bad, I suppose. Uh, There's not a big difference. I think it's 500. It might, it might be different than that, but I'm pretty sure it's 500. Right, we can come out here. This is... Yes, it's this one here that I want to avoid, so we'll go along there. I'm just going to turn... See, yeah, why is... What's this white line for? It doesn't seem, it doesn't make sense to me that it's on that side of the road, right? When I'm pulling up onto here, that bit there makes no sense to me whatsoever. So up here, we've got a stop sign. And our stop signs in the UK, they're exactly the same as those stop signs there. It's an octagon, red background, white surround, and then you've got that solid white. I think that's actually just an error on the map. I'm going that's, that's my, I'm going to make an assumption there. I'm going to assume that that is an error on the map. I'm going to put the straps on there so they don't pop off again. Because if they do, that's just going to make me want to cry. And I'll get you. All right, we'll run you round. Now, previously, I was under the impression that if you leave your tractor parked underneath the combine, it doesn't always start away again. You've got to physically go and move the tractor away from the spout. But we'll try that out. We'll leave you there, just while he unloads, like that, and I'm going to switch our tractor off, and I'm going to go to our tractor over here, like that, and we're going to go. So yeah, I'm going to assume that that is actually a slight mistake on the map, that uh, solid white line down the bottom of that road. That's, that's, I can't... I'm looking at it and I'm, I'm trying to come up with any other reasonable explanation and, and it seems to be the only one at the moment is that it's actually just an error on the map and it's not 
intended to be on there. And that would make sense, you know, there are, there's obviously there is going to be small mistakes here and there, um, and that, that would make more sense. So, yeah, I'm, I'm busy trying to decipher this, and I'm trying to understand what exactly would cause it, and it, yeah, it, it's just human error. Um, the, the bloke from the council, I mean, well, we have the bloke from the council here in the UK, I don't know who does it in the US, do, do you have a, a local council authority that comes along and deals with the roads or is it done differently but for us it would be the bloke from the council came along and he, he painted the road the, he painted the line on the wrong side of the road so he'd have gotten a, a, a rap on the knuckles for that and then someone else would have come along and burned off the old bit and put it back on the correct side of the road and then everything would have been all tickety boo and everybody would have been happy ish sort of Except the bloke that got the rap on the knuckles. He, he'd have been probably a bit upset about that. But uh, don't think he'd have lost his job over it. We know that the um, we, we know that the council folk can sometimes get away with making some mistakes. Some more severe than others, it's got to be said. I've seen some pretty atrocious mistakes. And if they can get away with those, they can get away with painting a single line on the wrong side of the road. It does look like, though, that the combine has started up. And he, yes, he has. He's gone on his merry. There he goes. He's under the tree at the moment. So if I bring you over to there, I'm going to stop you right there like that. Uh, ooh. I'm just thinking. We're going to want a bigger plow now, aren't we? We've got our small... Well, the small plow is what we'll use for outlining the new field. Uh, but we're going to want a bigger plow. Before we do that, let's get these pallets back and we'll get the pallets unloaded. Then we can get up into that field and we can start doing all of that bit. So these pallets, yes, they're sort of overhanging the edges. And quite frankly, it's all looking a bit sloppy here at the moment. But this this fine. As long as we can... Look at it. Leaning over. It does do that. You, you've got to be careful with this. Even the empty pallets, they can put a bit of weight onto the truck. And it makes it lean over a little bit. So I'll, ta I'll run this one back home. And then as soon as we've got this one back home... We, well, we're going to have to get these pallets unloaded. I want them unloaded and I want them back where they're supposed to be. And then once we've done that bit, then we can... Uh, the combining can just sort of carry on and we'll do the fertilizing and stuff like we've done previously. Just put the job going and then we'll tidy up afterwards. Uh, we've got wheat in both of those fields at the moment. We'll plant oats in the field that the combine is in at the moment. And then we'll put um, nothing in the other one. That one's done with for now. We've got the big field, and that one's going to be planted. Although, you know what I didn't check? Let's check. What have we got in the rest of the field? Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> we got a crop of potatoes up there. That one... <laughs> we got potatoes growing. We're not harvesting potatoes. I'm not doing potatoes. I'm not interested in doing potatoes. If I'd seen it was potatoes, I think I probably would have left it a bit longer. Uh, no, no potatoes. We're not doing them. We will just plough them back in. So those can be ploughed in. We've got the soybeans. So we won't worry about doing any actual planting until the soybeans are ripe and they've been combined. We can do some ploughing on the rest of it. But again, we won't worry. You know what we can do? We can just start fast-forwarding time a bit. Right, we've got five pallets on there. And then there's... Four, uh, there's only two over here. I'm going to put the pallets right there. I'm going to undo those straps. I'm going to put time to 60, like that. And, right, how are you doing? You've got 14,000. That combine over there is... He's fine. He can keep going. He can keep going for a minute, so I want you. I'm terribly sorry, folks. I'm afraid I'm going to have to interrupt things there. That is all we've got time for today. So if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.